Hey everyone, mm -hmm. welcome back to the channel and welcome to the mini release of the Rook 2020. This is a Rook that uses a 2020 aluminum extrusion frame. And I wanna thank Kangrog for basically doing most of the CAD work. He's been a huge help on the Discord and he has lots of different Rook mods on printables and just a huge Rook fan and I really wanna thank him for doing most of the CAD. I essentially sent him a step file of the basic frame and the Rook parts kind of thrown on it and he did the rest. So huge shout out to him. For this build also I wanna thank Kang, I wanna thank uh, Gulsifer for doing the Rookery. It's a really cool uh, tool head mod for the Rook. I had all the parts for it so I wanted to put that on this build and I think it really fits the aesthetic this very squared off um, kind of 2020 frame build. So really, really happy with how this turned out. So the first thing is, why did I make the Rook 2020 version? Um, is it because I don't like the original Rook or I don't think printed frames work? Um, that's definitely not the case. You can go on my Discord and look at the Rook channel and find out Lots of people are happy with their 3D printed version of the Rook. Uh, Canron included, myself included. It's really a great option. However, there's definitely some people out there that aren't able to print a frame for the Rook. It's just simply too big for their printer. Or there might be people out there that are struggling with printing the frame. It's warping or they're having issues with it. And I wanted to give people another option on building the Rook. The Rook is always meant to be the best printer for beginners to get into, uh, an awesome printer to learn Clipper, and for people's first Core XY printer. So I just wanted to give people another option on their journey to building a custom printer, and it's all about choice. So I'm really happy to have this printer in the Rook lineup now. So there are a couple things to note on this printer. Um, it does use the exact Rook bill of materials. So if you've already have the Rook or you've ordered some parts for the original Rook or anything like that and you decide you wanna go with the 2020 frame, that's great. There's nothing you need to do or cancel your order or anything like that. All you need to do is order some extrusions, some M5 bolts and some T-nuts. So, we worked really hard to make sure that the existing Rook bill materials carried over very seamlessly to this version. So what you need to build this version of the Rook is you need 12 200 millimeter 2020 extrusions. You need eight three-way corners. You can see one sticking out on the side here. So those hold the frame together. Again, with all my builds, there's no drilling or tapping of the frame. I'm just using three-way corners you can get off of Amazon or AliExpress. Very simple for beginners. You're gonna use 35 M5 by eight bolts and 35 T-nuts. That's the only addition to a Rook bill of materials. Of course, I will have all that information on the printables link below. With that being said, of course, this printer is released officially on printables now, so you can get all of the STLs. As always, I've included the step file as well. I really hope a ton of people make even more mods for this printer, all sorts of stuff. It's a really, really cool printer, and um, you know, you have all these options to mount, a whole bunch of stuff to the side now. It's really, really neat. Also something really cool about the Rook 2020, it is fully printable on a Rook now. So Kangrog worked on the bed and it the bed is now three pieces. So it fits on a Rook 120 bed. So this printer is now fully self-replicating. It can print its own parts, which is really cool and made sense to incorporate in this version. I'm really happy how the bed turned out. It's very solid. Um, the three pieces kind of interconnect together. It's really, really nice. We've also kind of updated the motor mounts. So they're both the same height now. So when you do sensorless homing and you actually home your Y, it's nice and flush on the back. So 
a lot of little quality of life uh, options like that. The Z motor mount you can see here is much simplified. It mounts to the very back. It's very, very strong. All the parts that I have here have been printed at four walls, 30% infill. So I've tried to print the parts even more robust for this version because it is a stiffer frame. I might want to try out some higher accelerations and that type of thing. So I just made sure that my parts were as strong as possible. I have designed a quick um, SKR Mini E3 version 3 uh, mount for the back. So the main board is mounted to the back there. It still uses the normal AC adapter that the original Rook would use. Great thing about this uh, version of the printer is the linear rods on the back are now adjustable. So if you have one that's slightly bent or something like that, you have way more adjustability on getting that Z nice and smooth moving up and down. So again, this version is probably the easiest version to build. It of course will cost a little bit more money, but I think it's a great option to have. And again, I'm really happy to have this in the lineup. So that's kind of all there is to it. Very straightforward. Again, this is the official release. You can find the link to printables down below. There is a official Discord channel for this printer called the Rook 2020. Some new people to the channel may not know, I had a 3D printer a little while ago called Bijou. This printer does replace Bijou officially. I always wanted to convert Bijou to Core XY and this is actually Bijou's frame. So it just made sense that this printer is going to replace Bijou. And I'm gonna start doing that with a lot of my printers. If it makes sense to design a new printer or convert an existing printer to replace something that I wasn't happy with, I'm going to consolidate it and make sure that I have a really nice lineup of printers and they all serve a purpose. So I have renamed the Bijou channel and that is now the new Rook 2020 channel on my Discord. Definitely I encourage everyone to join the Discord and check out the Rook 2020 channel. There's gonna be a lot of builds of people building this printer on there, I'm sure. For serial numbers, it's basically gonna be the same. It's still a Rook. You can apply for a serial number and you'll get just a normal serial number just like any Rook would. So again, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you all on the Discord.